I wanted to talk to you about um, Adam's death and what happened that day. I don't really recall the incident that much. I, like, I drank a lot of alcohol and there was other substances involved and I don't, don't recall exactly what happened, right? You watched the video, right? I watched uh, the video, but it was one time a long time ago and I didn't, I wasn't able to access the video when I viewed my disclosure at all. In the case recently, in the court recently, you pled guilty. Yes. You, you do admit that you killed Adam, right? Yes, I admit that I killed him, right? Why did you kill Adam? There's no reason behind it. Like I said, I was intoxicated. I don't understand why it happened myself, right? I, like, in my mindset, I, I still say I had no intent to kill him, but with the jury the way it was, I, the, the best I could have got was a hung jury, right? There's no way that that jury would have given me manslaughter. So when they came to me with the deal, I thought it's better to get 10 years than uh, 20 or something. Right. What, what was your relationship with Adam before you killed him? Yeah, I guess he was a friend, right? You think he was? No. You know some of the same people and I guess we chilled out on the road. Like, I never expected that to happen in my life. Do you know that Adam told his family that he was scared of you before that day? I read that in disclosure, but I didn't, I didn't understand that at all. Why? I have no idea. You know, you don't know why he would have been scared of you? Well, uh, me and my friends, we do a lot of kickboxing on range and everything, right? And um, Adam had problems here in the Sarnia Jail. Mm -hmm. So when he first ended up in London, he thought the problems were going to carry on from here to there. What kind of problems? I, I don't know. He, he was uh, in numerous fights, I guess, here. Yeah. And, and when he arrived in London, he thought the same thing was going to happen, right? I didn't scare the world down. Are you at all sorry for what happened? Of course I am. It never should have happened. Right? Not, not only was his life taken away, my life is ruined too. I, I never should have been in that situation myself. Right? Now my kids have to grow up without a father. The Adam's, Adam's family have to go on without him. Right? It never should have happened. You think he could have been prevented? I think he could have been prevented, yes. How? Well, uh, I guess that there were signs of intoxication, right? That uh, one of us should have been removed at least. Right? How did you get alcohol in prison? I made it. You made it? Yes, How do you do that? How long does it take to make that? Usually, usually a good week produce, produces a nice batch, a week or two. And then Is it strong? Oh, it's to make you black out. Right? Why'd you do that? Why did I do one? Why, why the, the alcohol and drinking to the point where you blacked out? I didn't, you, there's no way to tell how much percentage of alcohol is in it when you make it, right? Mm -hmm. And when you, when you drink it, you, know, you, can't, you can't tell at all. And then after a while, it just kicks in. Like, I, I make it just to pass the time, right? Like, there's nothing else to do while you're inside. When people watch, and I'm sure they will and they have, when they watch the video from that night and how Adam died, you know, I'm just, I, I bet you people watching would say, you're a monster. I guess so. Um, what would you say to those people? It's not really like that. It, I, that should have never happened. I don't, I don't know what caused the anger. I don't know. Like, mm. like maybe there was something other, like the, but I don't, I really don't know what happened, right? I don't, I don't fully understand what happened and all I know this should never happen. So Adam was the first person killed, but there have been other incidents in your previous history where you had assaulted before. Well, one of my friends came back from, cool. well, I, I came, I came back to the range from the hall. One of my friends said that uh, somebody was going to bounce him. That means that that guy was going to punch him out, right? Okay. And so I went down to the end of the range and I asked him, are you still going to, I was like, are you going to bounce my friend? And he said, yeah. And he sucked his teeth in my face. That's a sign of disrespect when you're in here. So I punched him out. I hit him with, uh, I grabbed his collar and I hit him with two right hooks and an uppercut and he was done. And then everybody else started stomping on him as well. So 
Can you remember anything from that night with Adam? Last thing I remember is uh, when trying to get a phone call and the guy would not let me. And then you woke up in the morning, what happened? I woke up, started talking, grabbed breakfast, started talking to Adam, and then I realized he wasn't moving. What happened then? She asked my boy what to do. Like the one that's serving me, he's like, you gotta tell somebody. And then he's like, no, don't do that. And then, say, say that again, slow down, what? He's like, you gotta, you gotta tell somebody. And then, then, then after, he's like, no, don't do that. And then, you gotta clean up. So you cleaned up his dead body? No. Uh, don't know what else to do, right? Panicked. You panicked? No. What was that like? I, words can't even explain it. Just, I hope no one has to go to that situation ever. I don't even know. Did you snap? I don't understand. Like after or during? That night. Was it an anger issue? What? I guess I have anger issues. Like, there's nothing else I can explain it, right? Except for narcotics and alcohol use, but there's, there's still most of the anger issues behind it, right? So you've been in jail a lot? A little bit, yeah. What's it like the last four years? The last four years? The last four years have been like a life sentence in itself. I've been held in segregation, right? I hear you're not happy about that. I don't think anybody would ever be happy about being held in segregation. Like, they've been holding me against my will. I'd like to go back on an open unit, right? But Can you understand why they wouldn't want you to be? I guess so, right? Well, I don't know. I know other people in similar situations and they get to an open unit, like why not me? Well, you said that you don't remember what happened that night, so I'm, I, my guess is they're just afraid. How will they know that that won't happen again? I'm, not, I'm never touching alcohol again. What? So I said I'm never touching alcohol again, man. You stopped drinking? I don't. I don't want to be in, involved in a situation like that again. And if alcohol is one of my triggers, I don't want that in, inside my system. If you were talking to Adam's family, what would you say to him? I already explained to them in court that it never should have happened, right? And I don't. I don't under, understand what happened. Like I consider that Adam a friend. It should, he should have never been in that situation. I should have never been in that situation. And but you were. You were in that situation. I, I understand that, but I don't know words can. Like, there's no. There's no words that um, can say how sorry I am for that. Right? I I took someone's life that never should have been taken. Do you think it can happen again with you? No, you no. Know, but I don't know. The way the system is, that it could probably happen to someone else inside. Why do you say that? Because the system is a violent place, right? Like in, inside, it's not. It's not like the street. There, there's fights all the time, right? And if someone hits someone wrong, like that, it can it can happen again. So if you don't make brew here or inside the jail now, how do you spend time? Because you said it was boredom, right? That schooling, working all. Oh yeah. Right, programs. Well, it, while I'm in here, in sign in jail, all I do is read and work out. There's nothing else to do. I'm only here for a limited amount of time, so there's no way I can do school in a program in while I'm here. But another, like in, in the Southwest, I did uh, schooling and uh, programs all day. You do have a history of violence, trigger, assaults with violence, right? Yes. What's that all about? It, it depends on the situation. I don't, I don't know what one you're talking about, so. Anyone? Some, sometimes they were provoked, sometimes people assaulted me and I just went, uh, used excessive force to defend myself sometimes, right? And, like, what about the other time? I don't know what other times you're talking about. I don't know, I'm just, you're, you're, you're saying. Like, like the time that you brought up when that, someone was gonna assault my friend, right? And then I stepped in and well, he sucked his teeth in my face, right? And that's a sign of disrespect. So that, that's a goal right there. So I, that, that was a mandatory goal inside. And then the next, the next guy jumped up and hit my friend right there, right? So that was, that was a goal as well, right? So those, 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 that wasn't me taking initiative. Those were provoked, right? It was provoked. 
because he disrespected you. Yeah, well, he, and, and he was gonna assault my friend, right? And, and when you're inside, those things, you can't, you can't let people do that to you inside. Like if, if you let one person do that to you, everybody's gonna do that to you when you're inside. So you gotta not let people walk all over you kind yeah. of thing? It's a different type of lifestyle when you're inside. When you read that Adam was afraid of you before that night, what did you think? I was wondering why, because like, really? I had, like, I had him working out, like, he, before he got there, he wasn't really working out nothing. When he got there, I had him working out. Like, he worked out so hard that he was, like, sore, he couldn't even move. And then I thought, actually, we were getting along good. Like, I, I tease him, but I, like, I tease everybody else as well, too, right? So How I, would you tease him? <laughs> just. I don't know, normal things, like, like, I don't know, just, like, me and my brother, when we, when we were in a cell, like, yo, we, me and him would, you know, toss each other off the walls and shit. That didn't really happen with Adam, like, we just teased each other, and, you know. But he didn't tease you, you were a lot bigger than him. It, <laughs> are you kidding? Like, <laughs> he, had, he has a pretty good one-liner, so it's still, I, I don't I don't mind if people tease me, right? That's, if if I if I if I tease someone, I expect them to tease me back. Right? Why was he scared of you then? Do you think? Probably because his past history. What, what past history? Like um, I really can't talk about it, but I don't know. He's he had problems with some of some of my associates, I guess. Some of your friends he had a problem with? Yes. I didn't, I didn't really know that until, a, until after, until I read, that, read it in the disclosure, right? When Some of your friends beat him up? I guess so. But I didn't, I didn't, I don't know the reason why I don't, I just read it after, right? Because I was, I only knew about what happened in the jail. I didn't know what happened about on the street or nothing, right? And when I read it in the disclosure, I was like, wow, he didn't tell me nothing about that. So that day, take me back, what do you remember? What was happening before you blacked out? Well, uh, me and a couple of my friends, we party. We drank a whole toilet full of grew, like. Inside the toilet? Well, uh, garbage bag, right? So you tie off the corners of the garbage bag and then you fill up, you fill up the garbage bag and you keep it hot. You're like, it has to be kept at a, at a certain temperature. If it goes too cold, it dies. If it goes too hot, it dies, right? Mm. So you keep it at a certain temperature and then it, uh, the process just keeps making alcohol. And then when it gets done, we clean the toilet out and then you know, we clean it out and then toss it in the toilet. And then you could flush the toilet to make it cold, right? Mm. You take the mash out and you put it in the toilet and it's like, a, instead, instead of using the sink as a heater to cook it, you use the toilet as a freezer to let it make it cold. Right? So you put it in the toilet, make it cold and then just, there's a bag sitting there and we just scoop the cups out of it and like that. I hear you're pretty good at making that. I guess so. Where'd you learn that? <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's, we, made it on, we made it on the street and I got friends, I got family from down the penitentiary. They taught me how to make it as well. And when you watched the video of you beating Adam to death, what was that like? don't understand how I, I could be so angry in that, right? Like, I don't, it should never happen. I know there's people in the other cells uh, instigating it as well, but it's, I should have never took the initiative. I should never listen to them. What were they doing? I don't know, they're, they're, they're just, <laughs> I, I don't know, but watch, when I watched the videos, there was, I guess there was people in other cells cheering it on as well. Um, they were cheering on while you were beating him to death? I guess so. I guess there was a couple people that were saying, no, don't do it, but there was a couple people that were cheering as well. I don't remember that, but watching the video, I guess it happened. Do you worry that you could do that again? Not really if I don't, uh, if I don't drink alcohol. Right. What was the last time you drank? Probably in Hamilton. How long ago was that? Probably um, two and a half years ago. 
So if you did it after Adam's death, someone could say, well, how sorry are you really if you did it again? So my homies asked me to make it for them up there. Mm -hmm. And I started drinking with them. I actually uh, <laughs> puked all over myself. I woke up on the floor in my cell. Mm. Probably last time I drank that. How did the officers not catch that you were... I really don't want to talk about the officers and what they did. I'm not a snitch. Like, I'm not going to say anything that would to do with the officers, okay? I, I can really talk about my involvement in it. What do you want people to know about you? Well, really, the people who know me already, already know things about me, right? Well. Uh. I guess they should know that I'm sorry for what happened, right? Are you? Of course, I mean, it never should have happened. Like, I, I still maintain that I had no intent to kill him at all. Like, I've never been in that type of situation before. Yes, I have assaulted people, but I've never thought in a million years that I was going to kill someone like that. So, and here's, help me understand, I just, this is the part that confuses me. Even if it was all an accident and you never meant to hurt him, in the morning when you woke up and you saw that Adam was dead, we see you on the video wrapping his body and dragging it and hiding it in the shower. That's, uh, that's when I panicked. I didn't know what to do, right? Like, I knew that I was going to end up in the hole. Like, but I really didn't understand what was going on at the time. I was um, in, on autopilot, right? What's the autopilot? Just, like, I asked my friend, what, what do I do? First, he's like, tell somebody. And then after, after, he's like, you better just clean it up, bro. So I just went with that, right? Did you think they wouldn't find out that it was you? I, I knew that. You, they, there's no way that there was no way. I just, you, I knew I was going to the hole, right? No, no matter what. And this, my friend told me that. He's like, you, he's like, yo, you're going to the hole. When you get reception, you know, they're gonna, they're probably gonna keep you in the hole there. Segregation, okay. right? He's like, cause my, my friend's like, yo, you might as well, might as well enjoy your freedom when you got it, bro. He's like, yo, you're gonna be in the hole for a long time. So. What do you say to people who just say, they don't believe you that you're really sorry. What do you say to them? What, what can I say to them? Right? If if I can't, if, like, I don't. There's not like if if they already set in their mindset. There's no way that any words that I'm gonna say is gonna be able to change their mind. Mm -hmm. It's not up to me to make someone believe what I say. I like I say as the truth and the truth to my creator, right? Are you a religious man? I was raised traditional, right? My medicine pouch. Mm. How do you process what has happened and move on? I don't understand what you're trying to say. How do I process it in my own head? Yeah. I just try to keep task orientated right now, right? Like what? Like do I, you think about it? Of course I think about it. What do you think about? I think that the situation never should have happened. Like, I, first of all, I, I should have never been in jail to, to begin with, right? The system messed up. Why shouldn't you have been in jail? Because uh, the charges that I was brought in on, I was not guilty of. Hmm. Right. What else do you think about? What? What else do you think about when you think about Adam's death? I think that it could have been avoided. How? What? With him having problems here, they should have never put him in in the general population with the with other inmates from around here. If he was, if he had suffered so bad of a beating here, there's no way they should have put him anywhere around, especially on the range that he was on in London. 
So I, if I understand correctly, I think you're saying they should have kept him away from you? Everybody, you know, right? If he, if he was, if he was, like, if he had such a rough go, then there must have been a reason behind it, right? Like, I, I can only speak for myself, but I don't know. I didn't, like, I didn't know that he was fearing for his safety while he was with me. What does it feel like to hear someone say that, that they're scared of you? I guess it happens all the time. I'm, I don't understand it. Well, you also have that image. You, a lot of people I've spoken to who know you, the word is they don't want to mess with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually a nice guy. And so, like, I don't do something like usually until I have to do it, right? I like, if, if, some, if nothing has to be done, I'll, be, I'll, I'll just sit around and do it. But it's, I'll be the first guy to step up when something has to be done. Now, right? Like, what do you mean by that? Like if, like, if something has to be handled for the crew or something, I'll be the first guy to step up, so put, put my freedom on the line, my safety on the line, to handle it for the crew. Who, which crew? I don't know. My, my family is my crew. My the extended family is like what makes up our crew, right? And if something, something happens to one of them, I'll be the first one to step up and handle it. How do you handle it? One, it depends. Like, talk to somebody, make sure it doesn't happen again. And if, but if something gets belligerent, then it's up to them. Every, every situation has a different method of handling them, right? If someone disrespects you on the street, what would you do? I try to see what it's about first. Right? Usually that doesn't happen. People don't dis disrespect you? Not usually. Why do you think that is? Because <laughs> the, the people I associate with don't allow disrespect. What happens if someone disrespects you? I don't know, usually, usually they get handled. But I don't know. It, it depends what, uh, what type of disrespect it is. What type of disrespect gets a beating? What? What type of disrespect gets a beating? That's usually when someone throws down on me first, right? What does that mean? Sorry. If, if someone tries to assault me first, that's when I go off. I had never tried to do that though, right? I have no idea what happened. I mean, the, judging from his character, I highly doubt that that happened, but I don't. Sorry, say that again? I said judging from his character, mm -hmm. I highly doubt that would happen. But I don't, I have no idea. Some people say that they think maybe you killed him or beat him to death to show other people how tough you were. Why would I do that? I know how tough I am. I, mean, I don't have to, like, I was, like, Adam was there and I was supposed to look after him, right? Because he, he came and like, he was, he was afraid that uh, what happened here would carry on. When he got there, I was like, don't worry about it, bro. You're, you're good here. Like, I don't, like, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, but you're good. I mean, this should have never even happened. Um, our, our mutual friend basically told me to look after him, that he was a good person. So when, when I heard that, I said, okay. You know, I wonder if people hear you talking and say, you've said you shouldn't have been, been in prison. They shouldn't have allowed you to be in a cell with him and the system's messed up. But which part of that do you take responsibility for? What did you do? I, I, I beat out of the death, right? I take respons full responsibility for that when I do not know what caused it, right? Like, like I said, it should have never happened. Like, I, I don't understand what would have provoked me to do that at all. What was Adam like? From what I know, he was a good guy, right? He didn't, didn't cause no problems. He's always joking. And he's all right. Good at telling stories. Telling, Tell him why he tells stories about that, some of some of our mutual friends, right? And he's making me laugh about that. Um, told told a lot of stories about uh, you know being intoxicated and everything. That's that's kind of funny where we come from. How'd you get here? What? How'd you get here? I don't understand. 
Like, there have been a lot of things that happened in your life that you talked about a little bit in the sentencing, where you've been, where you think your anger comes from. I don't know where my anger comes from. It could have been the lifestyle I was raised up in. Um, Say that again? I said it could have been the lifestyle I was raised in. Right? What kind of lifestyle were you raised in? A lot of my friends are like me. We, are, we like we grew like the family. Like we grew up in a tight, tight in the, in the circle. So, and we're all basically the same way. Um, a lot of my friends grew up inside here too, right? So, grew up where? Grew up inside. Inside yes. jail. Yes. I'd like to talk about a different issue, though. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Uh, the, the overuse of segregation for for inmates in uh, in in uh, incarceration. And there's no way that um, like the United Nations Convention, you know, 15 days. Anything after 15 days is considered a form of torture, right? And there's an overuse of uh, segregation for inmates across Canada. And Canada is one of the leading United Nations countries, is it not? Mm -hmm. Then why are they going against that, the mandate set down where 15 days consecutive is, is a form of torture, right? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what, like... You could do two shot. Mm -hmm. What do you think they should do then with someone like you? Who's, who's had a... It's not just me, there's like... There's well, let's talk about you. What, 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 what's fair? For you, what what would you do if you were? There should be there's like maximum security ranges that people like me could go on, right? Like, like what? what? Like uh. What's the difference? There's there's different levels of uh. There's different levels of inmates, in there, right? There's medium, minimum, and max, right? So a person with a history like me would probably end up on a maximum security range, right? Where they are still with general population and they still have an inmate, a cellmate. Yeah, well, not not really a cellmate, but uh, like. You know, just be allowed to be free and walk around on at least a range, right? Instead of being in segregation uh, for 24 hours a day. Can you understand why the authorities will say that it's not safe for you to be in general population in any way, considering that the last person you were with ended up dead? It's not the last person I was with. You had another cellmate after that? Me and, me and my friend in Hamilton, we were, we were together in a cell for, for oh, a little bit. Oh, after that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I guess they messed up when they did that, but you know, me, and, me and him were chilling for a while. And you know, when they brought me back to court, they put me with other people, right? Not, not in London, but a different jail. But how do, you make, how do you make sure that that doesn't happen again? Refrain from drugs and alcohol. How easy is that? I've I've could have made it since I've been here, but I don't. I choose not to, right? I I, you know, I, I could get <laughs> like my people will send me any type of drug I want. So it's like you went in here. Yeah. Like that's, I I tell them not to not to send in. They don't catch it. <laughs> Are you kidding? Am I naive? A little bit. Um, how so? What? How so? How am I naive? Uh, drugs come in easier than what you guys think, anyways. Maybe, maybe not here right now, but in other places. Like EMDC? I guess so. So, what should change so what happened to Adam doesn't happen again to someone else? I can't, I can't speak for corrections, right? Right, but you, you can speak for your experience, right? Are you, are you speaking about me or just in general the whole system? Well, what can be learned from what happened in your case? I guess not to drink excessively while you're inside. Not to take drugs while you're drinking. Um, what drugs did you take? I guess uh, my little brother gave me some PCP, but I didn't know. Who's your little brother? I'm not going to mention his name. Oh, so you mean somebody in... Not a real little brother, is he? While we were raised his family, yeah. I see. Okay, that's fine. But I'm not mentioning his name. Or no, anything. no, it's fine. You don't have to. 
So you didn't know? Not at all. Like, I thought it was tobacco, right? Because like, we, that's what we do. We like you know, we give each other tobacco and everything. He showed up with tobacco and he's like, yeah, have that. So I, mean, I kept doing smoking and didn't even know. But, so, so basically, what you're saying, if I understand correctly, is you were drinking, you were doing drugs, and you have no memory of what happened. Yeah, well, I was also doing other drugs that that morning as well, right? So I, it's I know it sounds so strange that you were inside a jail and you're talking about doing drugs and alcohol as if it's very easily available. I'm, I'm just surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be. Sometimes I see more drugs in jail than on the streets sometimes. How did the, do you think that should be fixed? Some some people need the drugs to just function, right? So some some of some of these people need it. Like I I wouldn't like I wouldn't want to take away my brother's fun. Like why? Like yeah, but that fun can lead to people dying. On a, more people die on the street, right? Like for the percentage, how many like how many people have been killed in on, in prison, and how many people get killed on per capita on the street, right? I'm not trying to justify anything, but you know, there's take. Taking away people's drugs with inside, like some, like I said, some people, some people need that stuff, right? Like, I don't know. Just like when you're on the street, some people need it. Do you think people should forgive you? I can't even forgive myself. Why would I want their forgiveness, right? You understand what I'm saying? No. Tell me. <laughs> like. I'm finding it really hard to forgive myself for killing one of my friends. Like, why would I expect anybody else to forgive me when I can't find it myself to forgive myself for what happened? Like, I, I took my friend's life and that should never have happened. I don't expect anybody to forgive me for that. I mean, if someone, if someone killed my friend or family, I don't know if I'd be able to forgive them. Mm. What do you say to people who'd say, that's a convenient thing to say, that I don't remember anything? What else can I say if I really don't remember anything, right? How has this changed you? Or has it? <laughs> this, is a, this is a totally life-changing experience. Since, I, since I've, you know, I've reached, I, before, I was a person who never did programs, didn't care about the schooling or anything like that, right? But since, since this happened, yeah, I've, like, I've had multiple times to get, like, I've had, I've had my people bring me drugs and everything, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't do it when I was in. I just, you know, sold it or gave it away to my friends, right? And um, since, since this happened, I've started all my school and did all the programs that were accessible to me. And before before this happened, I was one of those people who said, fuck, fuck doing the programs, go fuck doing the school, school and I just chill on range with my homies, right? And ever since this happened, this year, it's, I was, there's nothing else I can do, right? I have, like, I have to change my whole life around up to this. Right? Before, before it didn't really matter. I hear you have a temper. <laughs> a little bit. You can say that. What happens when someone makes you angry? Like I said, it depends on the situation. Mm. Tell me, tell me the different situations. If, if someone comes at me, I'm gonna probably smoke them. What does that mean? Bang them all. Mm. But it, for every, for every, like Newton's law of physics, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So. What does someone have to do to piss you off? To, to, to get a beating? Usually, uh, if they do something to one of my people, like uh, something serious, and 
you know, a lot of people can't defend themselves, then I'll, then I'll step in to handle it. Or if someone comes at me, then, then I'll handle it. Right? Other than that, it doesn't really happen. Do you think back about that night at all? Probably a couple of times a day. What do you think about? What? When you think about it, what do you think about? I think it's, it's a fucked up situation to be in. I wish it never happened. I don't understand how it happened. Well, drugs, alcohol, bad combination with a temper. Yeah. Oh, no, I just wish it never happened. It snowballs more more lives are ruined than just two, right? If someone pisses you off now, knowing that physically you can hurt them enough to take a life. Honestly, I'm going to try to walk away. <laughs> I mean, Is that I'm, realistic, knowing you? Un unless, unless someone's coming at me directly trying to hurt my person, I'm going to walk away no matter what. Well, if it's just words, then I don't really care about that. But if someone's actually trying to assault me physically, then I'm going to have to defend myself, right? To the best of my abilities. I think that's normal for someone to do though. If someone tried to assault you, what would you do? Would you, would you not try to defend yourself? Or? Uh, I'd probably call 911. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, where I come from, people don't do that. Okay. Right? Why not? Because that, that makes you a snitch. That person who, that makes you a what? That makes you a snitch. Okay, well, but both me and that person will be alive by the end of that. Yeah, I, I, I understand you come from a different lifestyle than me, but you know, it's like my, my people don't do that. When, when we have problems, we call each other. And we, don't, we don't call 911. Like, uh, you gotta understand, like, the, the police killed one of my cousins in Stony Point, right? And ever since that happened, like, we don't, we don't, we don't talk to the police. We don't associate with the police like that. Mm. Right, there's... You don't trust the police? Not at all. Right? How would you trust them after things like that? Right, they open fire on civilians and you can't trust them after them. I understand from your lawyer that there was an incident involving your mom when you were a kid. I didn't really want to talk about them. Is there anything you do want to talk about? The tainted jury pool, maybe. What about it? There was the, no access for Aboriginal people from the, from the three reses in uh, Medicine County to be on the jury, right? How would that? Have, do you think that would have changed anything for you? A little bit. You know that they tried to let the, a racist person on the jury as well, right? So when that happened, I knew that. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have a chance for a fair trial, really. Right? One of the questions was, are you able to be impartial knowing that uh, the defendant was Aboriginal? The person, said, the person said no. Then they asked him, is he able to be impartial knowing that the defendant is Aboriginal and the deceased is Caucasian? He said no again, and the two triers were willing to let him on the, let him on the jury, right? That after they said they were able to be impartial. So no, seeing that, I realized that those two jurors can't be impartial. So the best I could have got was a hung jury, right? I had, I had not one minority on the whole jury, right? How is, how, how, is, how is that fair? If you were sitting on that jury and you watched those videotapes of you beating Adam to death, would you let you walk? I, it, it all depends what all came out in court, right? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff that would have came out as well. Yeah, but if you heard the evidence, in the same evidence that's in your case, and you saw those videos, would you have let you if, walk? If, if known that there was no intent to kill somebody, it would, in my mind, it would equal manslaughter on it, right? right? 
murder, murder takes intent. Right? First degree is premeditated, planned. Second degree has some sort of intent, manslaughter, it was where there's no intent, right? And in my mindset, I had no, no intent to kill someone. Like the whole, the whole time, right? But you did. I didn't intend to kill him. But, but you did kill somebody, right? I so where, yes. where does, where do you think you take the responsibility for what you did? I took responsibility. I took, I, I took a life sentence, did I not? Yeah. Was I that hard? Probably the hardest thing I ever had to do. No, but it, the hardest thing I, I had to do was to tell the judge that, that there was intent when I honestly had no intent to kill somebody. Right? That's because that was part of your plea. You have to admit that you yes that you meant to kill him and you did I, kill him. Yes, but they they worded it with reckless, right? But I I can honestly tell you that my word my word to my creator, I did not intend to kill him. What did you intend to do? I didn't. I, I at the beginning of the night, I intended to party with my friends. Right? And it was a party that got out of hand. Yes, so yeah. We, we were just intending to have some social drinks. I don't understand how it happened. I don't know. I, I think the jury pool should be fixed so that no other, no other First Nations person has to go to that again. Because right? my lawyer put in an application to, um, I don't know, Something about the jury pool, right? But at, at that point, I already said, so why, why would I want to do another year in segregation waiting for trial, right? I just want to get it over with then. My lawyer, my lawyer's like, we'll, we'll do this with the jury, but I don't, want, like, I don't want to have to be in the hole for another year. So we fucking. If someone did the same thing you did to Adam, to one of your friends, what would you do? Now I wouldn't do nothing about it. I'm trying to get a lifestyle. Before, it would have been on. What would have you done before? What would have I done before? Probably I would have punched them all. Probably what? I said I probably would have punched them all. Right? Um, Has anything changed in how people treat you after that incident? Are they scared of you? Actually, my people treat me the same. People in jail, just generally. I really have no contact with other people. And other other cellmates, I mean, other inmates, I mean. Most most people treat me the same. Yeah. yeah. Never had. I've never really had problems with people while I was inside. And, and so. What do you want people to know about you? I really don't want them. To, it doesn't matter what people know about me, right? I just want them to know that this was a mistake and it never should have happened. I really, I really don't care what people think about me. People can think of whatever they want, right? But all I can do is sit here and tell the truth that it never should have happened, that I had no intent to kill him. Right? I know I took the second degree, but there was still no, no intent there. Mm -hmm. right? I would like you guys to look into getting a jury pool fixed for Aboriginal offenders in Middlesex County. You know? That was one of the big reasons why I, I agreed to talk to you guys, because you know, I'd like you guys to shed some light on that too. Right, not just this whole situation. Right, because that's, that's, that should be fixed. Yeah, there's other, there's other people incarcerated that is at risk for the same thing. Mm -hmm. Right, everybody deserves a fair and impartial trial. And what, like, the, the list that they used for the jury pool for, for the reserves was from 2000, right? That's 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Like, people, people have, like, Many people have aged to become be, uh, become the age of majority now, right? So, how many other people could have been on that on that jury panel? How would that have mattered? How would any of that have mattered? It it, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't impede my rights, right? But, like how would you, how are your rights impede? I'm just trying to make sense of this by by the way the jury pool was picked. Okay, uh, they use a list from the 2000s, right? Yeah. That's 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 a violation right there. Why? How, I'm just trying to understand. How, how many people came of age since the year 2000? Right? But it's still, 
It, random people from the society. Yeah, but there's, there's, there would have been so many. There's, that's that's seven. That's seventeen sure, years. Sure. That, that's so many people coming coming come the majority. I I only got a certain age pop, population of people then, right? So that's that's just wrong. You think younger people would have been more sympathetic? Yeah, like this. We live in a new age, right? Mm -hmm. Like fights happen all the time. I'm not trying to sit here and justify it, but I'm like there there was things that happened in the yeah. that shouldn't happen. I wonder if people will listen to you and say, it does sound like you're trying to justify it. I'm not trying to justify it. I just, I just don't want someone being this, to happen the same thing. Like, I want the system to be fixed for the next person who comes along. So that they don't have to go through the same thing. Well, how do, how do you, you make sure in a system like this that there isn't another death like Adam's? I don't, I don't know if there's any really way to, to prevent it, but I, I hope that it doesn't happen again. But how? Any ideas? You've been in the inside for a while, you have better... If, if something's going to pop off, it's going to pop off. There's no way that the crash you can do anything about it, right? Like, you don't think it could have been prevented? It just happened? Oh, my, my, my case could have been prevented, but I'm not, I'm not saying anything about that, right? Like, I just, it's, it's, not, it's not for me to uh, say anything about what they do, right? But it, it could have been prevented. What's next for you in life? I guess I'm going on the pen and trying to stay straight in my life, all right? I want to get back home so I can um, take care of my family. Mm. How long did you get? 10 years minus my dead time, so six more years before I could go for, for parole. So, mm. What would you look forward to the most when you get out? Seeing my daughter. How old is she? She's going to be nine. What would you say to her about what happened? Well, honestly, I'm going to tell her the truth as soon as she's old enough to understand it, right? So, and when I, I don't know. I'm going to have to apologize for messing up her life as well, right? Because it's not my, only my life that I messed up, it's, it's their life too, right? Thanks for talking to us. Why did you decide to talk to me? What's that? Why did you agree to talk to me? I don't know. I, I just... I wanted them... I want people to... You know, to see that I do have very much you know, money. Do you think they will believe you? If you were them, would you believe them? If you were them, would you believe you? I... I try to see the good in everybody. Like, I know I lived a violent lifestyle and, and lived with violent people, but, you know, I try to make the best of a bad situation, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I, I, like I said, I, all I can do is tell you the truth. Right? I didn't intend to kill Adam. Right? I, I considered him a friend. 